Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, video. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, the Nexus 6. I was able to spend some time uh, playing with this phone, but the main reason I want to I wanna do this video, guys, uh, is to clarify or to clear the concerns from a lot of people about the size of the phone. Uh, a lot of people are been making comments uh, saying that the Nexus 6 is too big and it's uh, huge and all that. And I think uh, I think the whole concept of uh, this phone being big it's overrated. Um, I don't think it's that big or any bigger than other phones that we have seen uh, in the last uh, two or three years. Uh, during this video, you guys are gonna see this phone next to some of the other biggest phones available right now, such as uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Uh, the HTC One Max, which is also 5.9 inch. Uh, you guys remember the Samsung Galaxy Mega uh, that came out about a year ago, uh, 6.3 inches, which to me that's the biggest phone available right now. Uh, but anyways, uh, without further ado, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, uh, here's a comparison between the size of the Nexus 6 with other big phones. My first impressions and the specs. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, subscribe for more, share the video to help others, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, friends, and here is uh, the Nexus 6. And as I said, guys, uh, this video is mostly to uh, compare the size of this phone versus other big phones. Uh, in my opinion, guys, uh, I feel like, you know, people are overrating the whole situation with the size of this phone you know i've seen a lot of uh, videos on youtube and uh, first impressions and unboxings and things like that and people are going like you know wow this thing is so big and i don't think it's any bigger than any other phones that we've seen in the last uh, two years so here is the first phone that we're comparing to the samsung galaxy mega 6.3 inches uh of course a way bigger than the nexus with the 5.9 and uh, here's uh, the HTC One Max, uh, also next to the Mega. The HTC One Max actually has uh, the same screen size than the Nexus 5.9. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and recap some of the specs, guys, uh, in the meantime, as we're looking at the video. As you guys can see, we're uh, playing there with the uh, app drawer from the new Lollipop uh, operating system. That's uh, the recent applications. Uh, you can switch between uh, different applications uh, pretty quick. Uh, here's a look at the uh, keyboard. And as you guys can see, it's uh, very easy and quick to type with this keyboard. Uh, as far as the notifications on top, really easy to access. Uh, you know, I don't have a lot of experience with Lollipop, but that will be a different review. That's uh, just uh, the operating system. But uh, here's a look at the camera, guys. And to be honest with you, and this is just my opinion, so take it as my opinion. Doesn't mean that, you know, I'm right. But for me, guys, uh, I found the camera to be not good looking interface. I actually didn't like the interface at all. Uh, there is a front facing camera. And uh, to be honest with you, I found the interface uh, very plain, very, I don't know, I, not looking, not good looking uh, in comparison to the interface that we see on the Samsung Galaxy phones or even the LG or even the, cam the interface uh, from the cameras on the HTC phones. I didn't like this interface at all. That's not to say that the phone won't take uh, good pictures or video because it does take uh, pretty good pictures and videos. But as far as the actual interface, I wasn't happy. So uh, that might be a reason for me to not buy the phone unless I download a good camera from the market. There is a Samsung Galaxy S5 with 5.1 inch versus the Nexus uh, 6. And um, guys, uh, we have an AMOLED display with Corning gray like glass. Uh, resolution is uh, 1440 by 2560 pixels. 5.9 inch screen size, 493 ppi or pixel density. Uh, as far as the pixel density, this is actually less than the Note 4 and the Droid Turbo. As you guys can see right there, there is a, the Note 4, 
And this is why I was saying that people are overrating the size of the phone. As you guys can see next to the Note 4, pretty much is the same size. As far as the body of the phone, the screen on the Nexus is, of course, a little bit bigger with 5.9 versus 5.7 on the Note. But the actual body of the phone, the size, it's about the same, just a little bit taller than the Note 4. Uh, looking at the back of the phone, to be honest with you, uh, I actually really, really like the design. Uh, I like the the uh, Nexus logo on the back with the Motorola. Here is again next to the uh, HTC One Max. Now, uh, pay attention when I put both phones uh, side by side where the screen starts and ends on the top. They have the same screen size. Of course, uh, the HTC One Max is the taller uh, because of the boom sound speakers that we have on the top and on the bottom. And speaking of the speakers, uh, the speakers on the Nexus 6 are very, very loud. And it also comes with dual speakers. There's a speaker on top and a speaker on the bottom. Uh, as far as uh, the memory, guys, uh, this is something important to mention. The phone comes in 32 GB or 64 GB. Uh, there is no option to add a micro SD card. So you need, you're going to have to make a good decision because uh, either you get 32 or 64 and that's all. Uh, as far as the RAM, it comes with uh, 3 GB of RAM. And as far as uh, the camera, like I said, uh, you guys saw the interface. You know, I don't like the interface, but the actual hardware, it's pretty good. We're looking at a 30 megapixel rear camera with a uh, two megapixel front facing camera. As far as the operating system, as you guys can see, you can close the recent application by swiping your finger. And uh, this is uh, Android 5 Lollipop. Uh, this is the first phone that offers uh, the new operating system. Uh, but to be honest with you, I wouldn't necessarily buy this phone because of that, because uh, all the Galaxy phones and some of the Motorola's are going to get updated to the new Android 5 Lollipop. I believe it's in January 2015. And here's this uh, application that allows you to open, edit, and create uh, Office documents. Uh, we're looking at this uh, Excel sheet. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, continuing here, guys, uh, with the specs, uh, we're looking at a Snapdragon 805 processor, quad core 2.7 gigahertz, which is uh, the same processor that we see on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and also on the new uh, Motorola Droid uh, Turbo. And uh, as far as uh, the battery, we're looking at a 3,220 milliamp battery. Uh, this is actually the same uh, battery size uh, that we have on the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Uh, the difference here, or the disadvantage on the Nexus, is that the battery is non-removable uh, versus uh, the battery on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Uh, we can actually get access to the back of the phone and remove uh, the battery. I get access to the uh, micro SD card. So in comparison to the Nexus, you won't be able to remove the battery. However, uh, they advertise uh, 24 hours of uh, talk time with the battery. So overall, overall uh, impression, guys, uh, of the phone. I think the phone is actually very, very good looking. A very thin profile when you look at the phone from the sides. Um, I actually like it better than the Note 4 and uh, better than the LG G3. To be honest with you, I like it better than any other phone right now. I actually like the fact that they were able to increase the size of the phone and not necessarily increasing the uh, increase the screen. I'm sorry. Uh, by not by not increasing the size of the phone, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, so guys, uh, you know, again, this was uh, basically basically to compare the size of the phones. And like I say, you know, I think a lot of people have been uh, confused and and uh, a little bit of uh, concern with the fact that this phone might be too big. Um, you know, if you are considering or if you own a Samsung Galaxy Note uh, three. Let me tell you right now, you guys saw it on the video, this phone is no bigger as far as the body than the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. It's the same thing pretty much, but you're still getting extra screen. 
Uh, so guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for more. Uh, please go ahead and share the video to help others. And uh, like I said, my first impression of this phone looks super, super nice. I'm actually considering getting the Nexus 6 uh, for my uh, next phone. So guys, uh, thank you and I'll see you on the next one.